Good evening. Two of the victims in the tragic crash at the South by Southwest Music Festival in Austin, Texas, are from Northeast Indiana. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson spoke to two of their high school teachers. She has more now in our top story at 6. Jamie West was on a moped when a suspected drunk driver crashed through a barricade and into the music festival crowd. She is one of two people who died, her husband critically hurt, leaving the small town of Garrett in shock. Jamie's one of those students that comes along once in a lifetime, just very special. 27-year-old Jamie West was Jamie Cook in high school. She wasn't just a good student. She was an incredibly talented artist. I just remember walking in the art room and just you know, being in awe at some of the artwork that she did. Jamie graduated from Garrett in 2005, but her impression on her art teacher hasn't faded. Knowing that she's uh, not here, I, I could still see her in that spot in the art room. Jamie's art was recognized with many awards. One thing she's known for, mixing paint on her hand instead of a palette. Of course, next thing I know, all these painting one kids are mixing their paint on their hand. They thought that was what you did. but She was just that kind of person that just by modeling, by example, uh, you wanted to be like that. And part of Jamie never left the art room. Some of the special students from years past would write their name on the edge of the desk and right in front of me where I sit was Jamie Cook. Jamie married fellow Garrett grad Evan West in 2012 and moved to Austin, Texas. Evan was critically hurt in the festival crash. In high school, he played the trombone and marching band and was on the basketball and soccer teams, but he was best known for his sense of humor. One of those kids that everybody just loved. You know, everybody enjoyed being around him. He made everybody happy. He made everybody laugh. Like showing up at prom in a bunny suit as a joke. One of those kids you always remember. Even though Jamie and Evan moved away, this tragedy still sends shockwaves through this small community where they grew up. It's bound to hit everyone, even if they never, you know, never met them. They were just such great people that they were always good to everyone, you know, people with outstanding character and great personalities, and they were just good people. One of Jamie's relatives today told me Evan is still in the hospital. He's stable, but his recovery outcome is still uncertain.